Okay, now we're, we're going to talk about the demon regulations. As you know, I am Johnny Fly 69 Once again, with my fellow YouTube viewers. And guess what? As we all know, the FDA demon regulations were coming. Yeah, they were. We knew this. Two years ago, we fought with them. We asked our senators to do their part, our congressmen, our representatives to do their part. And lo and behold, we hit, we got a two-year reprieve. Okay. But <clears throat> then they turn around and they issue their demon regulations. They come on CNN talking about what about the children, what about the children. And we're, gonna, we're prepared for day 91 or whatever. And we're going to start going after vape shops and suppliers. Well, you know what? If you don't think they can do it, you haven't seen what they've done to other industries. <clears throat> now they're coming after the vaping industry. Well, meanwhile, Big Tobacco gets a wink and a nod and saying, yeah, thank you for the kickback. We will look the other way while you guys do what you want. And if you don't think that's basically what the demon regulations do, here's what they had to say on page 8. They have not said what is a component or part, and they're not going to designate what is a component or part of an e-cigarette, ENDS device, or whatever, electronic, uh, a new electronic distribution system, ENDS, in other words. No. Now, here's the other thing. You think that's funny. <clears throat> Here's what they say on page 10. This is as far as I got before. I got too pissed off to finish reading. It says here on page 10, Finally, newly deeming tobacco products may be subject to future regulations. In other words, this is just the beginning, is what they're saying. Okay. And it says here on page 10 also that the FDA concluded that including all cigars rather than subsets, rather than a subset, more effective more effectively protect the public health okay if you don't think big tobacco is getting a wink and a nod then who is with those two statements alone they're telling you that we as vapors don't stand a chance that we are screwed because not only are they thinking about raiding vape shops because they said it on CNN that they're waiting for day 91 and waiting for the poor vape shop owner to come in to try to open up. So that way they can find them for every product they have on the shelf that doesn't have the stupid little sticker that says you have to lie to your customers and tell them that vaping is not better than dying of cancer. That vaping is not 95% healthier than lighting up a tobacco product, which was... The study results from the Royal College of Physicians in England, of all places. These are the tops of the tops of people in their medical field in that country that did this study. Never mind the work that Dr. Farsalino did and submitted to the European Union, to the to the European medical journals of how effective electronic advanced personal vaporizers, e-cigarettes, and that kind of stuff was in comparison to lighting up tobacco products when his country over in Greece decided that they were going to do the same thing as the FDA. And lo and behold, thank God his country, his representatives, his, his form of government listened to the study and listened to the people. Our government, I've tried getting a hold of Will Hurd. I tried posting on his Facebook page, but all of a sudden I'm banned. I can't post anything on his timeline, on his Facebook page, to ask him how he feels about HR 2058. I think that's the number. Let me look again. Just to make sure, because you know what? HR 2058, although the, the Congress people are telling you it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, because they don't want to do anything. They want to sit on their hands and take the kickback money from the tobacco products, I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, not from the tobacco products, but from big tobacco. All right? Because now, guess what? Guess what? 
18650s. If you don't own a flashlight that takes 18650s, guess what? This is a tobacco product. The plastic case that holds the batteries because it's going to go in an advanced personal vaporizer is considered a tobacco product. And guess what? The LED screen that's on the product, the buttons, the the case housing, the char the update port, and on some of them the charge port are all considered tobacco products. And guess what? Each one of them needs their own approval from the FDA, including the programming that lets this thing fire at up to 200 watts and do and do temp control effectively well. Guess what? You buy a stainless steel wire. You better have a device that uses stain, stainless steel wire other than an atomizer or an RTA. You buy RDAs, RTAs, because you're thinking that, yeah, I'll just build my own. Guess what? The peak insulators are now tobacco products because they go in them. They're part of, they're, they're part of the product because the FDA wants to screw us. They want to turn around, bend us over, and say, you know what, here's what you get with no frickin' Vaseline. And you think I'm being I'm being rude? Oh no, my friend. Don't get me wrong. We the American public should have a right to stand up for our rights and stand up for what we think is proper for us. The problem is is our government feels that they think they should have our thumb their thumb on top of our head keeping us down. And that goes for the new form of government that's coming in too. All the new electees, or electorates as they call them because they haven't been elected yet. This is your senators, this is your representatives, these are your congressmen and women, these are your presidential candidates. And you know what? Here's the bottom line. If you don't stand up for what you believe in and you don't try to get in a hold of your senators, your representatives, guess what? You're bending over and grabbing your ankles and say, you know what? Thank you very much. May I have another? And one more time because guess what? I have to buy cotton now. Cotton is now a tobacco product because it goes in your dripping atomizer. Unless you have a cut, unless you have a wound, unless you're ill and you require <clears throat> Diabetic treatment where you got to test your blood sugar and poke your finger every single day and use a cotton ball for that. Guess what? That is the tobacco product now. Yes, that's how serious they're taking this. That's what they're pushing toward. That anytime you turn around, Big Tobacco is going to be saying, oh, well, we paid our kickbacks already. Can we buy your company? Because you can't afford to make your product anymore because the million dollar upfront cost to see if your product is worthy to be out there with ours and we already paid the kickback guess what they're right yeah they're right they're right for asking you if you, if you want to buy your company because according to them they're thinning out the corporate herd they think that they're doing the public a service by buying you out, by putting your product out on the market under their name, because guess what? They can charge three times as much for it as you do and make three times the profit and still turn around and afford to pay the FDA their kickback or their PMA or PMDA or whatever it is that says that they have all their studies when all they're doing is just paying money. Big Tobacco is not getting the same response. You, you heard what I just read off of page 10. And that's as far as I got before I got too pissed off to read the rest. The other 400 and something pages of this crap that they're shoving down our throat and say that we have to bend over and take it. If you don't stand up for your rights, if you don't contact your senators, your congressmen, your representatives, your presidential electorates, or the people who are running for senator, running for president, running for congress, and ask them, where they stand on this issue because you like to vape guess what you're no better than the FDA yeah I said it you are no better than the FDA if you do not stand up for your rights because guess what pretty soon they're just gonna knock on your door and say hey martial law was instituted three hours ago 
because you stood up for your rights. We're going to take you someplace safe, someplace peaceful, someplace calm where you will be safe. When actually all they're doing is they're putting you in a truck, they're taking you to another truck, they're taking you out to the middle of an open field where nobody will see you, and they're putting a bullet in your head. Just like the FDA is with this whole deeming regulation thing that they call it because they want money. They want funding so that, that way they can turn around and screw somebody else. They're putting a bullet in our head that way. And guess what? Why should I stand for it? Why should you stand for it? You know, I was a smoker for 30 plus years. My doctor told me I had to quit smoking. I tried the pills. I tried those stupid patches. I tried the little lozenge things that you put underneath your tongue or you're supposed to put between your cheek and your gum so that, that way you wouldn't light up and you would still get your nicotine. But guess what? None of that crap worked. None of it. As a matter of fact, they had more side effects than they did good. Now my gums are all screwed up and I'm still waiting for them to come back healthy because I'm not using any of that, using any of that crap. And guess what? Most importantly, yeah, I started out with one of those E6s, then I jumped up to this little guy here, this little ego thing that's variable, variable voltage, and guess what? Then I moved up to a device that was very voltage, variable wattage, and that did me good for a while. And then again, from there, yeah, don't get me wrong, I do have my singular tube mech mods, and yes, I do check them for ventilation so they don't become a pipe bomb, okay, for those of you that may be concerned and not know what you're talking about. And I also got this little regulated device right here, which has plenty of battery vaping venting right here in the little K logo, all right? Now, that being said, yeah, they're all tobacco products because of the FDA and because of our government. So what else are they going to tax and what else are they going to regulate now? Since they're already regulating flavorings that go on foods and stuff because we vapors enjoy flavors. What now? They're going to try to regulate toothpaste as a tobacco product because it has propylene glycol in it? What? Are they going to try to regulate cakes and demand that you have a prescription to, to bake a cake or ice a cake because... Some of the icings take vegetable glycerin as one of their products. Not to mention the gel icings that use vegetable glycerins in them. What, are those now going to be regulated to where you have to have permission to bake a cake from the government so that, that way you can ice your cake so that, that way they can send somebody over to your house and watch you to make sure you don't put it in any liquid? What's next? Seriously. The FDA is already talking about how they're gonna they're gonna enforce this on the state and local and federal level, and they're gonna be raiding shops and this and that on CNN. Guess what? What's stopping them from knocking on your front door and saying, "Hey, we noticed you were driving down the street with an e-cigarette in your hand or an advanced personal vaporizer. We're here to seize your stuff. We're seize we're here to seize what you paid for with your hard-earned money." And you're gonna sit there, grab your ankles, and say, "Please, one more time." I enjoyed it the first time when you passed the deeming regulations and you forced that on us. Now you're going to force more on us? Please give it to me some more? This is why you have to stand up for your rights. This is why. Not because of me, the guy who was forced to quit after 30 plus years of smoking. No. Not because of my aunt that quit after 50 plus years of smoking and now she doesn't even vape, I don't think. You know... God rest my other aunt soul that died of cancer. I'm not going to tell you the type. I'm not going to tell you who she is. Those of you that know me by my birth name know who she is. Not to mention my dad that died of cancer and his brothers and the individual types they had. But then again, the FDA is all okay with us getting cancer. They're all okay with us dying. But they're not okay with us trying to practice tobacco harm reduction. Because we're not saying these are 100% safe. We're just saying that moms and dads, don't buy them and give them to your 14-year-olds. Don't give them to your 12-year-olds and tell them, here, take them to school, share them with your friends. Don't do that. That's stupidity. And for those that pop up on the news, oh, my kid died from drinking e-liquid. My kid died from drinking e-liquid. 
Well, stupid, you shouldn't have left your e-liquid bottle on the fucking table for them to get their hands on. And turn around and say, here, have a sip. One more round, you stupid clown. Pretty soon you're assed out. It's stupidity like that that is fucking us. And when you make your own devices, your own mech mods, because you don't want to spend the 20 bucks and order them from somebody who has them cheap. You don't want to go on eBay and buy one that's affordable. Drill some holes in the fucking thing for ventilation. And don't stick them in your pocket unlocked. Like the dumbass in the liquor store. Oh, I had it in my pocket with another battery and some keys. And more importantly, they can show all the little blue e-cigs and all the cigalikes they want on CNN saying that these products are dangerous, these products are dangerous. Big Tobacco makes those products. But, then again, when you look at the actual firefighter report, the actual incident report, what does it show? It, show, it says that there was a long tubular device about the length of a cigar. Gee, long tubular device about the length of a cigar. And two batteries that were on the floor, that were on the ground with the guy's pants. This is where the news media is full of crap. And if you don't think you should be calling your news media or contacting them and asking them, why are they shaming us because we want to live? You feel, you feel the need to look the other way and grab your ankles and say, thank you, FDA, very much. My family deserves not to have their bills paid because I can't work. Well, you know what? By doing that, you deserve what you get. If you don't stand up for your rights and you don't stand up for what you believe in, and I know this is getting awfully long hearing me rant about the FDA, but guess what? Somebody has to do it. My fellow reviewers are very kind, very polite and everything. I try to be too. The only time you ever see my face is when I'm pissed off or when something goes wrong in a review. You know this because you know my channel. It's the only time you've ever seen my face on this channel is when something is to the point of where you need to see my face and you need to see who I am to understand that what I say is what I believe in wholeheartedly. Just like I believe in God, just like I believe in Jesus, I'm not saying that that has to be your religion or preference of choice, but guess what? If you don't stand up for your rights, why would you have a right to stand up for your religion? Why can't they take that away from me too? Because pretty soon, guess what? Knowing the FDA, that'll probably be a tobacco product too. If you have a pastor that's nice enough to have a church and says, yes, please come over, hold, hold your vape group meeting over here, your little vape club meeting, I don't mind because it's not smoking. Guess what? It just became a tobacco product because that's where you enjoy it. And not only can they go after your church, but they can go after the building and they can go after everything else too because that's what they're boiling it down to. Pretty soon we're going to be hiding in our own closets trying to vape and trying to save our own lives. That's my that's my five cents on it. And when I do read the rest of this bullshit that they put out on paper saying that we deserve to die of cancer, thank you FDA very much. No, I'm not going to grab my ankles and say give it to me in the ass with no Vaseline. I refuse to. So... For those of you that want to know more, post a comment on this video. And believe you me, I will read more of that stupid ass legis that stupid ass FDA, FDA and C, and as they call themselves now, because they can they also regulate cosmetics now too. So ladies, just think: you put on lipstick and you vape. Guess what? Your lipstick might become a tobacco product too. Oh. Your lipstick has a uh, vegetable glycerin. Yeah, it does. Guess what? You might have to have a prescription now to buy your lipstick because of the FDA. Because it might be considered a tobacco product. Because it also has coloring too. And if it's scented or flavored in any way, shape, or form, guess what? That's going to be another permit they're going to have to buy just to sell it to you. Okay? So, that being said, as Johnny Fly 69 always says, I either... Catch you later, or I'll catch you on the flip side. I'm out.